All right, hello, welcome back to the stream. It is Wednesday, no, it's not Wednesday, it's Thursday. It's May 14th, 2020, and I'm really glad that you're back here on the stream. And uh, we got a new setup here, so kind of trying to level up the game, you know, every little once in a while. So I'm just gonna be looking over here a little bit just to make sure that things are rocking and rolling uh, as we hope that they are. It looks like things are good. So uh, feel free at any time, leave a comment, leave a question. And uh, we have some tunes today that I'm excited to play, some standards. I wanted to get back to standards. We did a couple of sessions of other stuff, and now we're getting back to um, jazz standards. So jazz standards meaning uh, we're going to play Yesterday's, we're going to play Stella by Starlight, Tune Up, What Is This Thing Called Love, and we're going to get back to Cherokee, our favorite uh, play along of Cherokee. So uh, I'm excited to dig into this today. I'm glad you could join, tag a friend in the comments so they can get over here and play with us. You know, it's, uh, it's no fun just to sit here and play by ourselves so um, if you're around later tonight you'll notice that we're doing a watch party for the uh, new cast of characters album that came out earlier this year but uh, we're doing that now uh, well not now later on tonight the watch party we're going to watch all the videos we're going to talk about the background we're going to talk about where the tunes came from, ask your, answer your questions, and just over, overall just have a good time just hanging out and uh, watching all the videos from Cast of Characters. So I'm excited for that. That's tonight, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you've been enjoying these live streams and you want to do something fun this summer, I cannot more recommend coming to the Jazz Trombone Boot Camp. Uh, Jazz Trombone Boot Camp is coming June 15th through 19, and this week is the last week to get early bird pricing. So if you are interested in that, please do sign up. Uh, that's nickfinzermusic.com slash bootcamp, and you can uh, see that. So um, please feel free to do that and feel free to sign up. Uh, it would be much appreciated. Um, let's see. I'll put the website on the screen so people can see it. Uh, while we're doing this but the first tune that we're going to play today is yesterday's uh and i wanted to play play it because you know jj johnson is probably my favorite jazz trombonist and that recording of him playing this tune is so so good i love it and uh i, I just like this tune it's a fun one medium swing um the important thing to note is that sometimes people play it as a 16 bar form i think it's definitely not 16 but it's um not 16 but 32 I think thanks Nate Campbell appreciate you putting those putting that up there this is the website address I'll just leave it over here um, but thank you to Nate for tagging some people let's get some people it's a party we're gonna make it a party in here so uh, all right here we go we're gonna play that tune yesterday's one more time I'll give you the set list if you want to be pulling stuff up uh, it's yesterday's and then Stella by Starlight and then Tune Up and then What Is This Thing Called Love and then Cherokee in 12 keys again. I know uh, Nate was asking about that last week and uh, so it's back. It's back. Uh, we're doing Cherokee in 12 keys. So please get ready and here we go. We're going to play. Um, I'm going to just move around this boot camp thing so people can see it <clears throat> we're gonna play yesterday's uh, let's see let's talk about the form so uh, I think we'll trade choruses or no let's try yeah let's trade choruses so choruses and then uh, after we play the melody and I'll go first just in case you guys need time to pull stuff up still so that'll be cool that'll be fine and uh, let me just open the restream chat just in case I don't want to miss anybody uh, that's that's chatting with us because it seems like maybe it's not working quite right yet but that's all right I'm still sorting things out this uh, streaming thing is still still new but it's exciting I'm glad to be here with you all so here we go we're gonna play yesterday's will be plenty of time to get into it so let's play the melody first and then we'll trade choruses Make sure this is loud enough here we go Oh, <laughs> 
Do uh, sixteens, sixteens. Oh, <laughs> 
I just noticed that I got the wrong title on this video. People are maybe seeing uh, that this says something else other than what it is. So oh, here we go. Getting ahead of ourselves here. So yesterday's, you know, the, the challenging part about yesterday's is that cycle of f fourths, right? All those dominant chords. I like how JJ always, when he plays it, he uses those sharp fives on the on those chords. I, I really, I enjoy that sound. So I try to stick with that when I'm playing this tune. So I just need to click save here and we'll be good to get back to it. All right, good, good, good. So here we go. Uh, that was yesterday's and we're gonna keep moving today with um, the next tune. And the next tune would be, <clears throat> what did I say it was gonna be? I have it on my list here, Stella. So here we go, pulling up Stella. Uh, there's some really great videos. Um, on YouTube about Stella, especially there's some from uh, Barry Harris talking about the first couple of bars of the changes. And um, I think it's super, super interesting um, to dig in and see the originally that it was actually not E half diminished A7 as we usually play in that bar, but B flat augmented. And also the whole tune was in G originally. So it's kind of, it was a totally different tune almost um not totally different tune but it's totally different Hours of the harmony in the and, beginning um, so um yeah anyway that's interesting but we're going to play it the regular way so all of that info maybe is irrelevant for us right at this very moment but um i am just making sure that everybody knows that we're doing our um play along right now because sometimes the software doesn't do what i tell it to do so let's see, today is May 14th, 2020, play along session, trading session, volume five. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna get your little sheet out if you need it, if you need it for Stella, but I think you probably don't. Uh, and in this case, since we traded 16s last time, let's go, um, we'll do one chorus each. You guys take the first chorus, and then after that, we'll trade eights so we can get some sections going and maybe we'll go to fours after that but um for sure let's do one chorus each and then we'll do we'll do eights so i'll call it out just you know as per usual but um it's going to be great so now that we've got the right thing happening on all of these streaming platforms that we are ready to get back to it so this is what is this thing called love that is not correct let's go to stella all right, oh, we're going to get an ad first. Let Sorry. me show you how to create an amazing ad using stock. All right, we're almost done with that. Okay, here we go. Stella by Starlight. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
You guys got it. Go ahead. One chorus each. My turn, one chorus. sections, eight bar sections.
Starlight, Stella by Starlight. I don't know. Something about those changes just never really gets old to me. I don't know about you guys, but uh, really, 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 really great. Great tune, great uh, harmonies. I uh, hope you're having a good Thursday so far. And excited that you're here for the stream. Drop in uh, what you've been practicing this week into the chat. We'd love to see what you guys have been working on other than these tunes. Uh, what have I been working on this week? I've been working on these tunes. I've been working on Cherokee and 12 Keys. I've been working on composing. I've been writing a lot this week. Have you guys been composing during quarantine? What have you guys been doing? Drop it in the chat. I'd love to hear from you. Um, we're going to keep going. I'm going to pull up our next play along here. The next tune is going to be another classic, Tune Up. I guess I'm just in a J.J. Johnson mood, just a classic, nostalgic mood. I don't know how else to uh, to describe it, really. Looking for high quality. Uh, but we've got another ad, so we're playing this up. All right. So Tune Up. Again, another tune where sometimes people play 16 bar courses or 30, 32 bar courses, but I think we can stick with uh, playing 16s. I'll take the first one. Let's play, yeah, we'll just do 16s. We'll go back and forth. Nate Campbell, shedding confirmation, killing. Look at this. I love this new feature on this where I can add the comments. So Nate Campbell gets a shout out right now because he's been here almost every single week, if not every week. And he did text me one time when we had a discrepancy about the time of our of our live stream. So appreciate you, Nate. Appreciate you. All right. So we are going to tune up. Tune up, tune up, tune up. All right, here we go. Now let's go eights, eights. Thank <laughs> you. 
So that was, of course, Tune Up, a great standard, and uh, happy for you all to be here today. Shout out to Andre for tagging somebody that should come and hang out with us this morning, uh, afternoon, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Uh, I'm excited to be here and sharing with all of you. So thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. Um, we heard what Nate was shedding this week. What were you shedding this week? Uh, I would, I'm uh, looking for new ideas. I've also got a secret project in the works with uh, Quincy Davis and Reggie Chapman, and we're working on a really great tune from the 90s. I guess it's from the 90s, uh, but I can't wait to get that out. <coughs> Been working on that this week. Been writing some music, writing a book of duets, lots of things, just keeping things rolling. Hope you guys are making the most of your time. Uh, during our crazy 2020 here. Um, but okay, let's move on to the next tune. One of my favorites. What is this thing called love? I don't know why it's a favorite. When people ask me, what's your favorite tune? Sometimes I say, what is, your th what is this thing called love? And they look at me like I'm a crazy person. Uh, but I do, I like it for some reason. Maybe just because it was one of the first tunes I felt comfortable with, you know? Like with that first tune you really like dig into and you feel like more comfortable, like you could actually have something to say on it, you know? It's, it's just one of those things. Uh, Andres, literally night and day. Nice, that's a good one. I haven't played that in a while. Uh, Andres, just for you, it's uh, Wayne Shorter week next week. Not just for you, but for everybody. But uh, I got put that together, so I got a, a, the list. I'll run down the tunes at the end of today's streaming session uh, about what's gonna be on the next one. Um, Next week is going to be Wayne Shorter. I see Nate making a comment there. Uh, and then we'll be back to standards again after that. But all right. So what is this thing called love? We're going to do it because it's one of my favorites. I'm sorry if you don't like it. Um, we're playing all these tunes. They're all from this JJ record. These couple JJ, JJ records that I'm obsessed with. Uh, J in person is the one. And it's got, I guess we're not doing all the tunes, but. 
Uh, anyway, so here we go. So we'll do, what is this thing called love? Uh, I played first this this time. So you guys play first. Let's do choruses for a while, and then we'll do eights and four. Maybe we'll get to fours. We'll just see how it feels. All right, so um, feel free. You know, I think about this all the time, and I keep forgetting to say it, is that, you know, I'm playing the melody just so that if you need to learn the melody, you can play along with me and kind of verify if you know it or you need to keep working on it. But if you're a person that knows the melody, I would highly suggest starting to improvise counter lines or um, harmony to the melody because uh, that's a skill that's extremely useful and extremely beneficial on a gig. If you're on the gig and you're playing a tune or at a jam session even, like it's really nice for there to be two horn players and one of them can play a harmony and not just play it in unison, you know? So uh, this is the time nobody's looking at you. Everybody's watching uh, just me. They can't hear you. So experiment, figure out what you want to do in terms of a harmony line to the melody, if you're a person that already knows the melody pretty well. Oop, i got to stall one more second here. I've got uh, trombone issues. Got uh, my trombone slide stuff. Got to put that on. It's getting a little scratchy, scratchy. So let's see. Let's get that going there. Sorry. All right. I got what is this thing called love pulled up. We're going to make it happen. Here we go. got it first. Go ahead. my turn. Let's do eights. <laughs> 
to do there at the end either <laughs> oh the classic jam session ending where we just crash into oblivion that's funny can't help it it's just part of uh, part of jam session culture apparently no it's not i think it's really important to think about what you're going to do at the end of a tune and not uh not leave it li like that that sucks excellent excellent thanks for being here we got one more tune for you today and it's going to be a long one why is it going to be a long one? Because it's in 12 keys. And so we did this before. We did Cherokee before. And I know if you, sometimes you need somebody to twist your arm into doing stuff in 12 keys. So this is me twisting your arm. Uh, it's a really, really good exercise, even if you suck at it right now. Uh, I suck at it too. So don't worry. We're going to do it together. And um, I think I took B the last time. I meant to look and see how we did this. But so I don't think I'll play the melody in the first chorus. But uh, you can improvise if you want. You don't have to play. It's a pretty simple melody. This is Cherokee, of course. And um, then we'll alternate choruses. We'll do one key at a time. So just keep in mind how we get to the bridge. So if we get into like E major, for example, when we're in E major, the bridge is going to be a 2-5, a half step above the key that we're in, right? So if we're in E, then the bridge is going to go to F. So just always keep in mind if it's an easy key, it's a hard bridge. If it's a hard, <clears throat> if it's a hard key, it's an easy bridge. So... Either way, uh, we're all gonna we're all gonna struggle together, and it's gonna be a lot of fun because that's what we're doing. We're shedding, we're practicing, and if you sound good all the time, you're never getting better. So, putting yourself into an uncomfortable situation is probably the best thing you can do as a improviser, as a student, as a practicer of jazz. Um, so, I see Joel Perez is here. Hi, Joel. Thanks for being here. He also tagged someone. So I'm going to give him a shout out here. And um, there we go. So <clears throat> if you haven't signed up yet, nickfinzermusic.com slash bootcamp. That's going to get you into our June 15 through 19 sessions. I know some of you are not trombonists, but uh, if you tag a trombonist, maybe they will want to come. Uh, we're having some really, really great master classes that I'll be announcing next week. But that's when the early bird e pricing expires when I make those announcements. So um, want to get in, get in now. All right, Cherokee. So I'll play the melody. You can go ahead and um, you can go ahead and blow, but you guys are going to take B because I took B last time. All right, and then I'll take C, you take D flat, but it'll flip, flip around and then I'll get the hard keys and you'll get the easy keys. But it's uh, a good exercise. Stick with it. Even if you feel like you can't do it, please stick with it all the way to the end. Get through all the keys. Uh, if you need to, while I'm playing, go ahead and play guide tones or root melody. It's going to be really good practice for you during the interim so i'm going to pull up this cherokee 
and oh wait we're going to be off to the races so i'm going to play the melody you can uh, either play the melody along or just start blowing and you guys are going to take the first key you're going to take b major all right thanks for being here today guys i'm really excited to uh, keep this streaming sessions going so uh, here we go one two one, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Next key.
flat. My turn. <laughs> Got it, A major. Congratulations. I saw people jumping off that stream halfway through that. But I'm glad, I'm very proud of you for sticking around. And if you were a person that jumped off the stream because you were scared of the hard keys, it's time to get in the shit because uh, playing tunes in 12 keys is important. Um, I've talked about this before, but I don't, I'm not one person that thinks you need to do every single tune in 12 keys, but I think it's important to take some of these seminal tunes, like ones that are super. Um, not dogmatic, but idiomatic of the language and kind of take them through the keys and get comfortable with the different types of harmonic movement, meaning whole step sequences, meaning two, five to four, five of five, all that stuff. So if you're wondering what that is, um, you'll have to do some research because I don't have time right at this moment to get into it and explain the theory of it. But I'm so glad you could be here today. Next week, we're going to be back. Um, make sure you tell your friends Get shedding. We're going to do Wayne Shorter. So I got five tunes. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah. Footprints. I got to start easy. I always have to start with an easy tune. I can't jump right in. Uh, with something hard. Footprints. Yes or no. Speak No Evil. Marie Antoinette and ESP are the five tunes that we're going to check out next week. So I'll be posting that throughout the week if you want to check it out. The set list and the play along so you can get used to it. And then uh, we can shed this together. Uh, Carl, thanks for being here. Appreciate that. I'll give him a little shout out. Thanks, Carl. Um, it's just fun. It's just a fun little time to uh, shed and kind of hang out. So I'm glad you guys could be here next week. Wayne Shorter, last chance, nickfinzermusic.com slash bootcamp uh, for early bird pricing on that. I hope to see people. We're going to have a really good time at the Jazz Trombone Bootcamp, virtual Jazz Trombone Bootcamp. And uh, back tonight with another live stream. This is going to be on YouTube only because I want, I want to try streaming right to YouTube uh, to share cast of characters all the videos they're all released now so we're going to watch them give you some background give you some context tell the story of the tunes and just have a good time so thanks for being here thanks andre uh glad you could be here as well and uh that's it for today hope you had a good time share this with a friend and uh we'll be back next week 1 p.m eastern time thursdays for trading sessions and they go live uh, on youtube shortly after that so we will see you next time for wayne shorter